Hey everyone, welcome to The Daily Word. I'm, I'm really glad that you've joined me. And for our Daily Word today, we're in Psalm 29. And what I'd like to share with you just for a few minutes about today is about the power of the Word of God and specifically the power of the Word of God to strengthen God's people. So if you would, listen now. This is the Word of God, Psalm 29, verse 11. The Lord gives His people strength. The Lord blesses them with peace. So first of all, as we're reading through the psalm, I want to invite you to notice that there is a call to worship, that there's a call to worship God for His glory. That is the weightiness of God's being, the, the value, the worth, the immensity uh, of God, the splendor of God. There's a, a prayer and praise of God's strength, which is the main theme of, of this whole psalm. Uh, the strength, the power of the, the Word of God. And, and there is a declaration of praise to the glory of the name of God, uh, which is essentially another way of talking about the character uh, of God, the nature of God, praising Him for who He is. And then a praise for the holiness of God, that He is pure, undefiled, that He is true and righteous. And I think it's important to point out here that God does not need our prayer, our praises. That it's not that God is, is, is really having some ego problems and so He commands uh, us to praise Him so that He can feel better about Himself. It's not that at all. Our souls need to praise God. That is, we need to turn the eyes of our hearts. We need to direct our souls toward the goodness of God. We need to praise. And so with that being said then, um, I want to invite you then to notice uh, the the voice of the Lord is powerful. This declaration, the voice of the Lord is powerful. Let's go back quickly to Genesis chapter 1. If if you read through, you see that God creates by His Word, by His voice. You'll read uh, again and again, Then God said, and there was. Then God said, and there was. He spoke creation into being. So God, uh, He he didn't create by pointing or nodding or emanating something. It was was a declaration. God said, and it was. Just as an aside, it's, it's very interesting to think about the the world being created by the Word, right? When we know that there is a logic to the universe, that that there are mathematical principles, that even our very DNA is like a really long word, right? Um, this, This ordering of God by His voice, this declaration of God is is just apparent across creation. Now, Let's apply that principle forward then to the fact that the Lord still speaks. He speaks by His Word. The Scriptures are referred to as the living Word. And so as we're reading the Word, we know that it is alive and active. The Scripture says God is speaking into our lives uh, even as we're reading the Scriptures. He calls us. He, He claims us there. He speaks into our lives. He speaks of His promises of His goodness, of His love for us. And what we're told here is that His Word strengthens us. His Word strengthens us. Now, how is that so? How is it that uh, just reading something on a page could give us strength? Well, you see, when we speak, it's not really like that. We might be able to encourage someone, and that might, that might give them some strength. But we can't actually give someone strength by our words. We can largely just describe, we can describe things, describe realities, but it is completely different with God. Not only does He convey information, not only does He describe, but in fact, by His Word, He is declaring reality. He is actually naming reality. So for instance, uh, there were friends who brought their friend to Jesus when he was at Capernaum. He's there in the home of uh, Peter and, and his family, 
and they can't get in. It's so packed. So they lower the friend through the roof, right? And Jesus says to the man, your sins are forgiven. And of course, the religious leaders are there. No, they know what he's saying. Who, who can forgive sins but God alone? And of course, that's the point. But so that they know that he has the authority to forgive sins, he tells them to stand up. He declares his forgiveness. You see, God, by God's word, he creates. By God's word, he heals. He names, declares reality, and it is so. This is the authority of God. And this is why his word would strengthen us. The Lord gives his people strength. It is, it is the power of God communicated by his word, received uh, through his word. And I want to I end with uh, a passage from Isaiah chapter 40. And what I'd, what I'd love to invite you to do is to uh, allow the Lord to declare these words over you, that you would receive this reality, this promise of God, this strengthening of the Lord in your inner being. Would you receive this word from the Lord? Isaiah chapter 40, beginning in verse 28. Have you not heard? Have you not... A have you never understood? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of all the earth. He never grows weak or weary. No one can measure the depths of his understanding. He gives power to the weak and strength to the powerless. Even youths will become weak and tired, and young men will fall in exhaustion. But those who trust in the Lord will find new strength. They will soar high on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not faint. Allow God by His Word to speak His strength into your inner being. And let us thank God for that. He is so good to us. His Word indeed is power. Thanks be to God. Amen. Amen. And friends, until we get a chance to speak again, I pray that God would bless you and that He would keep you.